Shadow, shadow. Hey everybody, we're here at Facebook Live with some Shadow Hunters. We've got Alberto Hi. Monsende and Dominic Sherwood. No Shadow Hunter. I'm, I'm not a Shadow Well, he's not a I'm Shadow Hunter. <laughs> From the TV show Shadow Hunters on Freeform. Season 2 starts January 2nd, so mark your calendars now. And you guys are coming off a big Comic Con weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I want to know because I was here last year when fans were already going crazy before anything had even been shown. Mm. How was this year for you guys now that the first season's aired and people have just embraced you and the show? How was it? It was heavy. Yeah, yeah this was year was heavy. heavy. But um, for me, I, I, we were talking about this earlier. I think we had not a more enjoyable time. Just we kind of we knew what Comic Con was to expect, and then that with the support of our fans, and we saw it again this year. I mean, this year was just as crazy, if not even crazier. Our fans, the, our panel was huge. It was in a theater this time instead of yeah, it was like just, a, a good thousand people. Yeah, it was huge. Time. So it was it was a really awesome experience. Yeah, it was yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay, what was the number one question fans were asking you, either the signing or just as they stopped you? What they, they asked us a lot about, like, what, did, what can we expect in season yeah, two? Yeah, what's the like, biggest what's thing we can, we can find like, out? Up yeah. in season two, and we were like, we can't tell you. Because I think <laughs> they know that. Anything. I think they know that. Uh, we kind of, you know, we, we went off the path of the books a little bit yeah. last season, but they know that this season we're probably going to take that even farther, go even farther. So they really yeah. want to try to get their head around what's going to be happening. We did, especially a lot of the book fans, who, they mm -hmm. feel like they know the story, and based on season one, as Alberto was saying, based on season one, they're realizing that actually they don't know this story as well as maybe they thought, so they're trying to get kind of insider tips, and I'm like, uh, well, Jace dies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jace does not yeah, die. Jace well, does I, not die. I hope not, man. i got a contract. Every time, every time <laughs> yeah, they ask me, I'm like, honestly, I've only read the script we're currently working on. I don't That's know right, anything yeah. else ahead of us. We don't know so anything past episode six. So we're just point. like them. We're very much curious to know, like, hey, what's going to happen right yeah. now? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Right. <laughs> if you guys are just joining us, I'm Jim Halterman, the West Coast Bureau Chief for TV Guide Magazine. I'm here with Alberto Resende and Dominic Sherwood from Shadowhunters. So we want questions from you guys, so make sure to start typing your questions. They'll show up for us, and we can start answering them. Um, but first, I want to know, where are you guys at in shooting season two? Because I know you've already been busy up in Toronto. Episode six. Mm -hmm. We just started okay. episode... Uh, we just started episode Yeah, we like just started episode days six. Episode two or three days, so I have to okay. go back and... Do you work on Tuesday? Yeah, I work on Tuesday. Yeah, so we're back in on Tuesday because it's a Canadian holiday. Oh, right, um, right. So, yeah, we've got today off. Okay, no, no spoilers, but what surprise? What has surprised you so far in season two, either about your character or just the story? There's a lot that has surprised me. <laughs> Dom is very much. <laughs> you can't really go outside of There's nothing, there's nothing more I can say than that. Um, but um, there's, a, there's a lot. Jace, yeah. from my point of view, especially because of the way we left season one, Jace is on his own. He's with Valentine. We pick up immediately in season two with that same storyline with an hour or two having passed, so nothing's changed, it's not like we're doing a time jump. And Jace gets a lot of information, he gets um, put in a really bad place, and he, he, he falls down that rabbit hole a little farther before he comes out of it. Okay. One of the things about Simon that I really appreciate is he's always in a constant state of growth. He's always in a place where he has to learn a lot to keep going forward. We're kind of opposites, you and I. Yeah, yeah. Season, huh? this like, season, like, season Simon's kind of building cool. and he's doing really well. He's like, yeah, I'm he's starting like, to discover himself. He's being a vampire and forward. stuff like that. And Jace is just like, step. But it's going to get nope, step. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe this time, nope, step. No, and it just keeps yeah. the rabbit hole. It's just happening. <laughs> but being my uh, dirty, my fluffy white tail. <laughs> <laughs> but then, as far as the story goes, uh, we can just say we're very excited the way it's moving. Yeah. The way it's moving forward, the way we're learning more about each individual character. Um, everyone's really starting to round out, get really developed, and yeah. it's making such a rich... It's definitely a lot thicker in individual storylines, mm -hmm. like, um, the, and the, the love triangles are starting to get a little more involved, and, you know, as we new saw New characters again, are being introduced that might disrupt got, those triangles. Yeah. We're allowed to say Maya. We can say Maya. Yeah, yeah Maya. Yeah, Maya's, 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 Maya's I've, heard, I've heard to be kind of ready for Maya. Maya's ready, ready for Maya, Maya. and the, the lady we cast as Maya, Alicia, Alicia. Wainwright, is... Just fantastic. I, a lot of we've both gotten to work with her now. We have, yeah. yeah. My my, yeah. her first day was a lot of a lot of Jace Meyer stuff, which is um, in fact as you guys saw in the teaser, there's uh, yeah. the, you see the kind of the Hunter's Moon, the beginning of uh, what happens in in book two, the kind of first couple of pages of book two, you start to see that kind of thing happening, and Alicia's really wonderful, and we're very lucky to have her. Yeah. Okay, we do have somebody who wrote in and wants to know if there are more emotional scenes in season two. Oh, yeah. say it's more emotional than oh, season one. Yeah. Um, Yes. Much, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, hands down. Well, yeah, I, think, I think naturally our story lends itself to that. Because right away, in the beginning of season one, we had nowhere to go. We were learning about these people in this world. And now that we're connected to these people, we're connected to this world, and we know the stakes that this world is in, um, this crazy tyrant is trying to come back. We, we kind of know that naturally the stakes are higher. 
Yeah, and if, uh, yeah, uh, we're, yeah. As Alberto says, like we understand these people now, and it's not so much of a an expositional season where we're trying to explain to an audience, you know, this is what a vampire is or a werewolf is, and this is how you kill them, and this is how they have to survive, and blah blah blah. It's not so much that anymore because people know that. So we uh, we're in a place where where the emotions are going to run this story much more heavily because we know the characters well enough that we can understand and empathize with the choices they make based on the situations they're in. And we're doing that a lot more. Um, again, like I can only really speak from my point of view because I'm so separate from the rest of the cast, especially yeah. at the beginning. But yeah, Jace's emotions are really pushed to their to their limit in episodes He's one not through easy ride oh, episode like one it. through six. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it doesn't stop. get better yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm Jim Halterman. I'm the West Coast Bureau Chief for TV Guide Magazine. We're here with Alberto and Dominic from Shadowhunters. Hi. Thank you for sending in questions. We're starting to get a lot of them. Um, we want to know, what can you tease about Hunter's Moon? Can you guys even talk about that? Yes. We can, yeah. I mean, I think, I think there's... But we can say book fans should be very excited. It's, very excited, It's amazing yeah. the way they brought it to life. Okay. There's some, uh, there's some stuff in the, in the teaser and the sizzle reel mm -hmm. of Hunter's Moon that you can, you know, you can see and you're aware of it being the Hunter's Moon. I just think it's on the glass, I think. No, oh, also, uh, I think uh, Cassandra Clare, the writer, the author, when she was on set, she took a picture and shared it on Twitter yeah. of like the Hunter's Moon sign, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, and the set's pretty out. amazing. The yeah. Hunter's Moon, it's it's very cool. It's well, it's, it's actually year, a really cool New York bar. Yeah, I, it's I, very. I, I want to go really there. Cool. Like, we kind of wish that on Fridays <laughs> they would open it up after after we all get off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, the alcohol's fake. We tried. There are like a thousand uh, bottles, and we're like, one of them, surely. Yeah, they have, uh, like, one gift, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing that came out of the Comic-Con panel was some some guy is directing a... Who is this guy who's going to direct an episode? Oh, Paul Wesley. Paul yeah. Wesley. Paul Wesley. Paul Wesley's going to be directing. It's really <laughs> no, no, exciting. It's I, did a, exciting. I did a movie with uh, with Phoebe Tonkin, and I met Paul via that um, a couple of years ago. He's such a nice guy, and he's so talented, and he's so enthusiastic, and he's... Um, really excited about being a part of this and we're so excited to have him so that's great we're really looking forward he's to he's coming it. from a world similar to ours yeah, yeah he which understands our rules understands, and yeah, yeah it's, it's young adult what he's on as well so he understands the um, the kind of legitimacies of, of making a project within that environment so he's yeah I'm really looking forward to yeah, that yeah he's, he's directed on the Vampire Diaries so mm -hmm. I think he'll bring maybe part of that world into this one who knows I'm excited to see maybe. it yeah. Yeah. it would be yeah. fun to see the worlds kind of coexist I think we should put him in the like he should be in a couple of the shots definitely maybe he should be one of the background shadow hunters and then he should, <laughs> like, he should be that why should he do that I like he's that vampire. we don't have enough vampires we don't, we don't. <laughs> well I want to know because somebody else just wrote in a question thank you keep them coming um since vampires and shadow hunters don't get along so well, mm -hmm. is Simon going to get along with them a little bit better since he does have a connection to a lot of them? I think Simon's going to understand shadow hunters differently this season. Um, mm -hmm. The first season, it was Clary and these people that she was a part of, and it was he was very much removed from them. But now that he's getting more invested in the world, more invested as a downworlder, he's starting to understand them. But his relation doesn't get better with them. Uh, Especially with this new guy coming into the institute that we talked about, Victor Aldertree, yeah. who's a representative of the Clave, yeah. and if you know, the Clave is not very cool with downworlders, so and he, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So Simon is kind of seeing. It's interesting because he sees it from someone that's removed, but also right in the middle of it all. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's. So a that's rough world. that's actually where Jason Simon are very similar at this yeah. point. They're very they're very kind of alone. Mm -hmm. Don't have a, they don't have oh, a place so in the true. world like very very alone. Yeah. Like you think about the different groups that you've been a part of, and mm -hmm. kind of all of them have been like, no, nope. You know what I mean? And Jace is in a similar place right now, where you know everywhere everywhere he he wants to be is is alienating him and isolating him, except for Valentine, who's like, come to dad. Yeah, stay here. <laughs> <laughs> but we're seeing that Jace beaten up pretty much in the trailer. Is it's that is twice. That, it happens is that, twice. But is that dear old dad who's like, yeah, you need a little talking to. I can't say. You can't say. I unfortunately, can't say. I'm not allowed to. I wish. Okay. Mm. Well, can you talk at all? We know. We know. Jace eventually will rejoin everybody somewhere along the way. How do you know? I mean, I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying eventually. It remains to be seen. But you, so in the teaser, you see Jace and Clary jumping off the side of the boat, mm -hmm. um, and that's all that I can tease. I can't. I can't say that we don't end up back with Valentine. I can't say that we end up free and clear. All I can say is that we get wet. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm not even going to try because I don't want to say anything I can't say. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> that was very well put. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Jim Halterman, the West Coast Bureau Chief for TV Guide Magazine. I'm here with... Alberto Rosende. Sorry. Dominic Sherwood. I, I, know, I, I, I was going to say Dom Sherwood, yeah. but then I, I, I just threw that to you guys kind of quickly. It's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> 
So we have another question. Uh, any unexpected alliances that we'll see in the new yeah. season? People maybe oh, we haven't yeah. seen together. Talk about that if, as much as you can. Oh, well, as with Simon, uh, he has no place at home. He has no place at the Institute. Werewolves hate vampires, so he can't hang out with Luke all the time. So Simon has to find new alliances to help him get through this world, and he does that. Oh, yeah, that's finds a very cool Magnus. one. I like that. He gets, he yeah. gets, uh, Magnus kind of sees Simon as this lost vampire, and Magnus right. has a history with that. So he kind of is like... Yeah, well, that's interesting too. Is we get to okay. we get to as we were saying earlier, we get to look into kind of these backstories of these characters and like what you know. Jace's was covered fairly heavily in season one. What made him who he is, and you know his family drama and why he why he makes the choices he does. And we get to look into that with some of the other characters as well, which is very cool. We get to look into the origins of Parabatai and mm -hmm. why Magnus oh. is the way he is and yeah. the way he discovers view. I mean, episode three so far is is my absolute favorite episode that we've done in season one or season two oh, nice. okay. it's it's really really great did you like episode three was it just great 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 okay yeah wow. it was great uh great okay. smith ep uh, was episode three and it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 amazing it's i mean it's a very jason alec heavy episode so it's more personally for me it's mm -hmm. it, i really enjoy it but yeah i'm looking forward for people to see that okay and everybody watching keep those questions oh, coming in they've been great yeah. so far we'll talk about alec a little bit because alec yeah. obviously is on his own journey whether it's with Magnus, or also I know he's going to be on his own journey as well. Can you talk about Jace and Alex's relationship in the new season? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a kind of, as much as I can tease is sort of already what I just said. We, we do get to look into the history of, of Jace and Alex's relationship, which yeah. is, which is, it's all in episode three and it's really cool. It's really, really interesting and it's uh, an evolution of what Parabatai is and um, the, the understanding of this brothers in arms bond and it really makes it clearer than it did in season one how important it is um, and the stakes that are, that are at risk by the two of them being apart and uh, yeah we get to look into that more heavily which um, which I'm looking forward for people to see like I, I was I cried when I read the script for, for episode three yeah. that ending the, that ending yeah. is just so um, it's raw it's raw and it's, it's just beautiful and yeah. it's it, it, I think it speaks to a lot of like the virtues that shadow hunters hold close to themselves that yeah, it, it actually humanizes Shadowhunters yeah. quite a bit because we see them as these cold, kind of stoic, very straight to business people when actually they do have emotions that in many ways run deeper than human beings because mm -hmm. they are forced to suppress them but they They're have these trained. connections. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for this history with Alec, do we see flashbacks? Is it like little 10 year old versions of? Can't say. You guys? Are we allowed to yeah, say? Yeah, we, can, we, say, we say. can say we do see the first time Jason Alec meet. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we do see that. There you go. We are allowed to see, oh, we're allowed that. to show okay. flashbacks. We, we are showing flashbacks when we see with them. They first meet each other. Okay, I want to know pranks. Who's the one to always that's, watch out for? You know, that's People actually like the know. second yeah. biggest question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, this prankster? season, this season, like I, I, I think all of us are equally season. pranksters. We all just okay. like to pretend that only Dom is. Yeah, we because then because yeah. then it's easy to blame the pranks on Dom. So it's like, okay. who pranked me? Oh, who is this? Probably Dom. Yeah. It was me. Or but this year, it's this year. I feel like we should. There you go. I feel like this year, it's I've not been able to. Explore my pranking abilities well, we've because I've been separate. Busy. I've been away from you guys, and you can't prank Alan because he's a frightening human being. No, you don't want to prank. You want to prank, prank, prank the bad guy. That's <laughs> so uh, I've not been able to do it as much as I would like. But um, I, I think also we're in the show. We're just in a place where no one's had the desire to do that yet. Yeah, that's true. It's all yeah. been very heavy. It's all been we're all not very much business in the sense that it's focused, but it's like no, we want to do well. Season two, we're happy with. It's more focused. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. more focused. Yeah. Okay. I know during the panel yesterday, a lot of people were talking about the girls' training, but you guys, I'm sure, are doing a lot of training yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about yeah. just upping the game in season two as far as the training and what we'll see as far as the just it's, action. I mean, it's heavy. Like, like, Dom and I had a whole period of, what, six weeks before you even started shooting that we were in the gym six days a week. Yeah. And then that had to slow down when we started filming because we were obviously on set, so we couldn't do that. But yeah, the, we have a new stunt team in. Um, and yeah, you, what you saw is, is Izzy and, and Clary training, um, but yeah, that's that's what we do with our stunt guys. That that scene, that's what we do with our stunt guys. That's how we train. Every free moment we have, we're in the stunt room with them, trying to get better and trying to evolve. And the team that we have at the moment, headed by uh, by Damn. Darren Maguire, is just amazing. Darren's the standing world type one. I keep champion. hearing his name. Darren he's Wyatt, yeah. He's probably he's one of the coolest dudes you will yeah. ever meet. Okay. He's, he's one of the most down to amazing, professional, talented. Like, we can't say enough good things about him because he's no. just he's taken our show to like the next level and yeah. he's put such a, such care into each character, the way each character moves, the way each character fights. Um, yeah, and we have uh, they're they're big this year. I have three three big fight scenes in episode one. And the scene you saw where Jace is chained up and getting beaten on, yeah. and they were all choreographed by Darren, and they're they're all 
flawless and perfect. And Jason's you know, like a full-on superhero this season because yeah. of these fights. It's so cool. Because of the way Darren has has made us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have an audience question. You guys keep the questions coming in. They've been great so far. Have you guys heard this show like dubbed in other languages at all? I've heard, I've heard, I've heard yeah, it in Spanish. Heard it in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I love um, my voice in Spanish. Emerald has as well. <laughs> hello, so we've got hellos from Norway, Brazil, UK, Greece, nice. Italy, Germany. Hi guys. Hello, hello guys. everyone. <laughs> How are you? Especially the UK. We love you. We love you the most. <laughs> you guys all send in questions. We want to hear what you have to ask these guys while we have them here. Um, we, we they talked a little bit on the panel yesterday about Sizzy. Of course, everybody's dying for Sizzy, including Amarad. I think she even yeah, said, she, "Yeah, she's dying. dying for Sizzy." Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's, um, yeah, she's always ready yeah, to she's hop up ready and for throw Sizzy. her arm around. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. But, but um, so we know is, is there any other kind of romantic connection maybe for Simon since Izzy's not happy? No, no, no. Simon has all of the romantic connection. Well, I think, I think <laughs> let's just speak to this. Simon's a good dude. Dude, yeah. good dudes. Yeah. Like if you're a good dude. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah. But um, yeah. also, Simon's just in a place where Clary's very much in a whole whirlwind with everything going on with Jace, and he's trying to mm -hmm. be there for him. Like, he's trying to be there as best he can in a yeah. place in the Institute, which kind of just kicked him out. Um, Izzy's going on her own journey, mm -hmm. very much with the Shadowhunters, and her and Simon don't really get to see each other. So this is, okay. on the panel, I said it was one of those things where this is the time where they're apart and they're growing, so that when they do come back, it's going to be good. Yeah. Um, but Simon does meet someone that kind of, uh, he meets Maya, which... Is the first person he kind of has that feeling with that he only really has with Clary, that okay. first like connection, that first like spark. Like uh, first spark, that's yeah. the best way to put it. Like a real spark. I like it. So you guys have been playing the character what two years now basically yeah, from the time you started? Two years. What, yeah, it's crazy. What's yeah. what's a favorite thing about your character and maybe what's something about your character you would love to have personally as a trait that maybe you don't or <laughs> <laughs> uh, loaded question there. yeah that's really tough is there anything that of Jace's that I would like I mean the ability to draw a rune to give me a special power would be that's very cool awesome it would be very cool but a lot of his like past and his experiences I wouldn't like so much I wouldn't <laughs> like any of those really no that would, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want that yeah. how about Simon outside, Simon. Of the, outside of the vampire side of things what other qualities of him do you connect with or like and I, don't know, I, I like to think I'm an extremely optimistic person and I, I think I am, but Simon, something about, he's such a fighter. And I, I think there are times in, in where I would have either given up or tried something different, where Simon keeps, like, keep, keeps his head, to, like, you know, his nose to the grindstone, keeps going forward. Yeah, that I really yeah especially appreciate. when, yeah, he's, he's such, I, well, yeah, I think, I see Simon as such a kind of ray of sunshine in the, which is ironic, but um, <laughs> such a ray of sunshine in, uh, in this world, in that even when choices are made for him, like when you became a vampire, you would with like roll with those punches, yeah. You're like, okay, well, yeah. it sucks for an episode, and then you're like, well, this is where I'm at, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. His ability to this. move on too, which I think is something that I'm trying to work on. It's like people hold on to things, and mm. he's someone that holds on to how they made him feel, but he'll never punish someone for it. He's like, yeah. all right, that, that happened, and I, I wish I could take that into my life. I think that's something yeah. very beneficial. Have, have you guys had a chance to talk to Cassie? I know she's on set a lot. Yeah, she, she was on set, set last week. Just last talk week to her about your characters and some of the stories. Have you had to just really grill her on stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because, again, the same as the same as we were saying earlier, we are starting to kind of stray from the books a little more because we want to keep it interesting and fresh. And, um, you know, we started doing it at the end of last year where the characters are the same. They're grounded within the books, the, the way they're portrayed and the choices they would make, but the situations they go through are different. Um, so the way they react will be as those characters, but within different situations. So um, I think she the more we speak to her, is, yeah, too. she comes to us. How'd yeah, you guys about, do this? How yeah. does this happen? Oh, that's cool. I'm yeah. sure be interested. Or, or then sometimes she's seen things that we haven't seen. So okay. it seems I think what people seem to be surprised mm -hmm. with is, is much more of a dialogue with us and Cassie now mm -hmm. than it is like, you know, us asking her advice yeah. so much. Like it's much more of a dialogue or a conversation between us that she, you know, she, as you said, yeah. she would approach us and like, how did you do this? And when we did this, like, and we'll say, what did you think about that? And like, yeah, cool, I always saw it as kind of this. And I'm like, oh, I never thought about that. Uh, yeah, okay, cool, okay. I like that. Yeah, I like yeah. that idea. And then they all kind of um, melting pot into one and we and we all come together as, as one okay. thing. This can be a yes or no answer, but are we seeing anything with daylighters in season two? Are we only allowed to say yes or no? Because I feel like that's or not you, fair. Or yeah. Okay, say, say what you want to say. We, we don't know. We've like, heard... Know. We've heard like, I haven't heard uh, anything. We've heard like a whole spectrum of rumors about what's going to happen I, I throughout the season. No we one's don't. come to me saying, "Hey, Alberta, prepare for this." I yeah. know that okay. I've heard the idea floated, but I, I, and then again, I've heard so many other That's things the that thing. didn't like, happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
we hear like they're really keeping it. us in the dark as well. So I feel like they're things. throwing us red herrings every now and then yeah. as well. Yeah. It's like, yeah. hey, yeah. get ready for this yeah. with Jace, and then like the episode comes around, like that didn't happen. We're like, oh, we're the opposite of it. Yeah, we're only on episode six filming, so who knows what they're gonna throw at you? Fourteen more episodes. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, last question, then we're going to wrap it up. Go ahead. Def- describe season two in one word. Go. Don't take my word. <laughs> Go. Uh, exciting. Okay. I was going to say intense. Ah, oh, man, intense. Intense, so exciting. Better. We'll take it. We'll take it. You guys, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank, thank you for having me. Yes. January 2nd on Freeform, second season of Shadowhunters. You guys are going to love what you're coming. Come on, this was like the fourth. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.